above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Ephesians 6, verses 16 and 17. God has provided abundant means for successful warfare against the evil that is in the world. The Bible is the armory where we may equip for the struggle. Our loins must be girt about with truth. Our breastplate must be righteousness. The shield of faith must be in our hand. The helmet of salvation on our brow. And with the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, we are to cut our way through the obstructions and entanglements of sin. Summoning Timothy before the bar of God, Paul bids him preach the word, not the sayings and customs of men, to be ready to witness for God wherever opportunity should present itself, before large congregations and private circles, by the way and at the fireside, to friends and to enemies, whether in safety or exposed to hardship and peril, reproach and loss. He was to reveal the patience and love of Christ, explaining and enforcing his reproofs by the truths of the word of God, to hate and reprove sin, and at the same time to show pity and tenderness for the sinner is a difficult attainment. We must guard against undue severity toward the wrongdoer, but we must also be careful not to lose sight of the exceeding sinfulness of sin. There is need of showing Christ-like patience and love for the erring one, but there is also danger of showing so great toleration for his error that he will look upon himself as undeserving of reproof, and will reject it as uncalled for and unjust.